my legion of little goblins, this is Gamer Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play. Um. <laughs> West of Loathing! Okay, looks like our friend here wants to talk. What up, Doc? <laughs> We're going to look into this necromancer business. I figure we ought to start it with the local cemeteries. Makes sense. You know where they are? Yeah, I did some research into the territory cemeteries for a while back. Territory cemeteries, territory cemeteries. To see if there was a pattern, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyway, there's one not too far from here. What do you think we should do next? Well, if you're looking to find and out the lay of the land, I guess a railroad crew would be able to give you a fill of the... Makes sense? Oh yeah, I turned on stupid walking! <laughs> I need stupid walking. A spittoon! This spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spinning on the floor, because it's not spinning at all is an odd an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty familiar pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko. Inspect it. <laughs> Look! The jewel saloon is a pretty nice place. It's pretty nice as saloons go. Oh, actual glass in the windows. More than two kinds of drinks. A poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't as... Isn't fancy rancid t uh, tobacco spit. Inspect it. Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket. Which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert. And the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad. Because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is now half full with the rest of the spit, the toxins, and the filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette buds into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity, viscosity of maple syrup. Except, maybe instead of maple, it's flavored with the insides of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah? Oh. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set fire to it. It feels like your hand is dissolving! Keep searching. You found something! You found a tacky, filth-covered, porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom tip for your children, assuming you're still able to have any and you Well, at least it does something. <laughs> Doesn't react to you at all. Rules of poker followed by hundreds of weird rules and tidy print. Four cross-eyed kings of kings of hearts rank higher than three fours, but cancel out a nine. Yeah, no thank you. Hmm. Oh, and I want slop. There's a sign that says, See bartender for darts.
Boo, you do nothing. Put this chair back. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink ink without hats on? They're gross in a conversation. Leave them be. It's your partner. This guy just falls asleep during a brawl. That gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. Well, howdy! Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. I can't even say words right. Hi, thanks. I'm Belinda. Glad to know ya, Belinda. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for ya? Uh, let's see. So, old sign out front. Advertising a room? That's right. Finest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's your year and look. The previous tenant was a banker fellow and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. He seemed like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Wow, great! Howdy, Belinda! Anything I could get for ya? Uh, -da 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 -da. Who's the old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but nobody would buy him. Too weird his stories. Fantastical stuff. Too bad I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much now. He had to get a nor had to get normal work to make ends meet. It passing well as a spec prospector, so one day he lost his mind in a mind. He what now? You know what I mean. He saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays. Seems to calm him down. As long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Hmm. And then they ain't to help him? Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, nothing's gone wrong with our with our player piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I'd have poked it around him myself, but I lost the key. This has suddenly taken a strange turn. Hmm. You left the piano player's the player piano player's coat. <coughs> Reveal a pet hatch on his back. It leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Right? You pick the lock. You open the hatch and check the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong. Given all the plinking and spring and clicky noises coming out of the gear system. Looks pretty complicated. Alright, let's come back to this later. <coughs> Needs five of this. Pull up. The room is disabled. You sit up down at the poker table. A dealer emerges, for, emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Connie, and the player to your left says his name is Leon. The dealer tells you that ante is four, 20 meat. Well, let's ante up! Mm. The dealer shuffles the deck and then deals. A handful, a hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's a really terrible, terrible hand. Seven of cub lubs. It's the first round. The pot is sixty meat, and you estimate your chances are of winning are around twenty percent. Hmm. Try the this. You wake at Leon, and he gets all flustered. 
20% chance of winning. It's the second round of bidding. betting. The pot is 60 meat. Do you estimate your chances of winning in at around 40%? You glad to call it any in check. Plus 5% ch win chance. Connie raises. Call! Boo! It's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is a, is 120. Meet, and you estimate your chances of winning around... Bold. Walk away. Over here again. Big days washing dishes. Hey, what are you doing here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. Oh, you're the nosy type, eh? I prefer adventure stuff. Uh, as it happens, there's something you could do for me. I'm out of salt patier and need someone to go pick me up some more. What's that? Isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things? Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? Okay, okay, where can I find it? Best bet, it's a military pet camp. Yes, it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up! There's one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. Okay, be back soon. Hmm. Pop this pot belly stove is a pot full of slop. A pot stove top plop plop, plop pot. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. Actually, don't. But you just probably end up feeling stupid like me. You look at yourself in the mirror. Insult yourself. You call your you call yourself a four flush and blue faced. Insult yourself again! You better not insult yourself anymore. And you get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Shut up! The postcard on this little table. Take it. Nice view from a pier. Okay, dirt water mercantile. Sundry positions, miscellaneous law. Cosmic, but uh, various groceries. What do you got? You. Where was that when I needed it back in town? Alright, what do I got for money? Eh, not a lot, I'm afraid. Yeah, let's get some binoculars. And this. I might have fucked up, but... There's an article with a list of tips and tricks for moving really quickly. Gives quick on the draw, a skill that increases your speed. There's a recipe for a quick brew potion that fortifies your body, mind, and spirit. Gives strong medicine, a combat skill that temporarily increases muscle, mystically, and moxie. There's a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might come in handy in the fight. Gives good medicine, a skill that lets you recover HP in combat. Oh my goodness. Let's learn... Good medicine? You practice making the snake oil concoction until you can do it with your eyes closed. You got the skill good medicine. When you open your eyes again, it appears that somebody has stolen your me- BASTARD! I 
dare thou, oh, steal my stuff. I do not say I could go outside. Hi, I'm Belletta. Any skill for me? Nope. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alrighty, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus. Let him know that you've been up, uh, what you've been up to, and that you're okay. It'll be, uh, oh, it's one of them, one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero minute then. Thanks. Holy crap, this lady's hat. <laughs> okay, here's the jail. Clark clears us out. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. Need any help until you find a new sheriff? Sure, if you're good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. A lot of posters in the back. Cells over yonder. There's a lot of sales here. Ooh, where am I in my... Ooh, I might be able to... It's a water poster. No, you want... Wait, you misread it. It's a wasted poster. Close enough. The poster reads, Wasted! The stripey hat gain for Grand Theft Paint and Tasteless Hat Vandalism. Last seen in the city of Cavern Canyon. A thousand meat reward. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Wanna go after them? Yes! Cool. It's a wonder poster. A, a wanted poster. If accuracy is important. It says wanted. The house of the desert gain. For mortgage non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collections agents. Last seen at the house in the desert. 500 meat reward. Oh, More money. Do you wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house? In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Wanna go after them? Duh! You take note of the location of the house and resolve to bring the house game to justice! Let's see. Lot available, lot available, lot available. Wow, there's a lot of lots available here. Not a lot available past this point. Okay. Let's do a quick wander. Your boost sense alerts you to the presence of a rock. Confused, you move to it. move the rock, and sure enough, there's a bottle of booze behind it. Phew! You were afraid for a second that your boost sense had been replaced with some kind of rock sense. Oh right! I wanted to try fixing that the piano thing. I see what's wrong. You recalibrate some straight brains and rearrange some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. Nothing to it. Poor old Ellsbury. Howdy, Belinda! Anything I could get you? Hey, Lloyd. Mm. Fix the piano player for you. Oh, it's always sounds so much better. Thanks a heap, Belinda. I know for you a yeah, free room in exchange, but you've already got one. No worries. Anything else that needs help? Nope. Everything's right as rain here. If you're looking for work? You might ask at the jailhouse. Well, I already did that. All right. Let's comb her pretty mane. Power up. Okay, we got it. Let's wander again. Now, I want to keep these, um, 
these videos short because, you know, there's only so much crazy voices I can handle before my voice starts to go. You happen across an abandoned crate, which apparently fell off a wagon or something since the lid has been knocked loose. You know what that means? Mine, 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 mine! You fish through the crate and help yourself to the contents, which appear to be some mining gear. So you were even more right than you knew. Sweet. The Davy. <laughs> well, let's check the desert out then. Your heart skips a beat as you spy floating cow skull in the middle distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Bite it! Skull to powder, but not before you extracted some, the useful bits. Got some veins and soul fragment. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are, or hold up, you hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Uh oh. Looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid it at face of full on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name! Wait, really? Yes, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Thanks. You're gonna get past the doggy. From the sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. No shit. Very funny. You're not gonna be able to get past this without. I had some food. Yep, and across another bin trait. Alright, what do I have for Mulala? Any money? Where's my money? Oh, check how much money I got. I have, like, no money. Hmm. I have that. Just sell it. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get this. Come on, this dude. Alright, let's go back to the desert house again. I found an old mine on the horizon. Abandoned mines are safe and fun to explore. Let's go there now! Well, that's quite a distance. There's an old mission not far from here. They might let you check out their catacombs if you ask nicely. Ooh, that sounds awesome. I suppose. 
Did I forget anything? Just a little reminder. Mo Gosh darn, I would like... Hey Alice, do you know how any of this stuff works? Nope. Okay then. Ah, I don't have 4 Jane. Those boards. You see a snake coiled up inside in the little hole. Pull it out and punch it! Nice work dispatching that snake. You gain 10 XP, 24 meat. You trick some of the snake's most valuable organs. You collect one venom from the snake's fang holes. You skin it with your trusty knife. Blah, blah, blah. Dick it. There's a smoky snake in this smoking hole. Got the jump on them. <laughs> Breathing snake. Nice. Got snake liver and more snake skin. Ooh. Dynamite can of oil. Dennis full of snake eggs. Pull them out. Shit, nice! <coughs> Excuse me. You grab the rest of the eggs from the den and shove them into your briefcase. Soon they'll hatch and feel right at home. Plus the venom. Not enough to of skin on any of them to be worth collecting. But that's fine. Oh good, we got a pickaxe. So now, we find meat veins. Which is always a good thing. Still want foraging. Find it. Now let's fuck on off back to the desert house. You discover what it is either an open grave or a very deep rectangular pothole. Jump in and see what you find! Well, if it's a pothole, it must have been here a very long time because you found the remains of an antique traffic accident. Handful of old coins, grave dirt, skull chips, old wedding ring. See those Vienna blood sausages aren't any good. That is gonna be a problem. Let's check Fort Cowardice and see what we got. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and broken pairs of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders made an untimely end here. Tragic. Their loss is my gain. You pour over the detritus and manage to find exactly one book that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting to you. Excellent. Let's have a look. Alright. There's an article deta entitled Deliberate. Delibid. 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 Why can't I pronounce this word? Dilibating toxins. 
Where are they now? It gives bad medicine. In a combat skill that will reduce a target's moxie. We also want, really want that strong medicine. There's an essay ex extolling the virtues of shooting wildly without looking where you're go aiming. Gives shooting any a skill that allows you that lets you fire a whole bunch of bullets at random targets. I want to learn strong. You memorize the formula. Afterwards, you accidentally drop the magazine in a puddle, ruining it. Shucks. Just like the saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make a cannade. Climb into the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view from up here. Use your binoculars. You see a splash of greenery in a cannon up. And up north, must be a spring there. Snake spring? You climb down from the watch tower and pitch the binoculars into a nearby tr trash can. Deep Fort Tower is beautiful. You're an idiot. <laughs> the med tent. This sign has the goblin word for toilet on it. Yikes! This mishap definitely got someone fired. Boo! And it's an unusually sized cannonball. Let's take it. The sign says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this tent as a toilet. No way are you going in there. I don't want to describe it either. Based on the papers and anatomical di diagrams scattered across its surface, you can see this stuff. That's belonged to Fort Cowardice's nurse. Look at the papers. The papers are mostly just boring medical records, dental limitations that antibiotics haven't been discovered yet, but that kind of thing. Hey, what's this? This looks like it might be important. Marching orders. Hmm. Let's look at the diagrams. There's just a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Charming. This cot is soaked with blood. That's not good. This shelf still has some unlooted medi medical supplies on it. Render them looted! Cool. Ah, I don't have safe cracking! Hear the sounds of several goblins soaring inside this tent. Let's leave them alone. That's all. Blech. Vice rack. Saltpeter. Looks like there's still some good mess left. Take it. Nice. Eh. Let's see. They are currently. Fine. You read one. Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read before. What is wrong with you? Now oh, you're no fun. This was once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for it to receive would be a free trip to the dump. That's just mean. In general, this is a door. More specifically, it's a door. It's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office, and I don't have a needle. Alright. Oh yeah, we wanted to go to the... The chef at the saloon kitchen. Have you got that salt pitter yet? Yep, got it right here. That's the stuff. Thanks. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper. Yes, it's really spicy. Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They're outside a they grow in an area outside of town. Should be able to find one if you just wander around for a while. Okay? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's wander. You catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. You trace it to its source, a vividly colored red shape painting from a, from a scraggly little plant. This must be the southwest, southeast western murder pepper that that feller at the jewel was looking for. Let's grab it. Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it into your red except back before it can do any more damage. Well, I didn't mean to... Whatever. You see a streak of fire blast across the sky and land just over the horizon. You ride to the site of impact and find a meteor. Go after it with your pickaxe! You pull out your pick and make short work and small rocks of the meteor. Whoa, that's a lot of meat. I also got stardust. Nice. Unfortunately, your pick, max from, pick melts from the heat of the meteor. The heatier. Okay. Go! You suck for that joke. Better hope I get another fucking pickaxe soon. You find me a murder pepper? Yep. Ah, nice big one. That'll last a while. Good going. Okay, if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go check my mail. I ordered a new saute life, but I haven't got time to go fetch it myself. Here's my blah blah blah. Okay. I love stupid walking. If I P.O. Box 441, the one that belongs to the chef at the jewel. Let's open it. You open the box, and a torrent of junk wheel falls out. Oh, to reveal a knife just sitting loose in the box. <clears throat> you pick it up. Well, that's reckless and this as fuck. And you got my knife. Yep, here you go. Excellent. This will work a lot better than a ha that hammer I was using. Okay, I need one more favor for you, but it's the most important. I used to have a, a rest, this recipe for a very secret jerk sauce. But my jerk friend Dave J stole it from me, and then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, he was buried with it. Do you want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. Well, okay. So we have to go to the Dave Yard. Spot a small cottage on the horizon with what looks like a workable work table in front of it. Let's go to the silversmith's house. Silver bullet, make an apparatus. Help yourself. Mm. So nothing here. I'm hesitant to use that old wedding ring. You come across the corpse of the of a cowboy. How do you know it's the corpse of a cowboy? Well, you see that by his outfit that he is a cowboy, and you see by his lack of flesh that he is a corpse. Okay, I'll do the nice thing. You dig a grave and put the cowboy's remains in it. That's the least I could do. I could have looted his damn body. Here lives Dave B, 1834 through 1884. Yes. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. You dig up the grave just to te check the vera veracity of the epitaph. Sure enough, boots, but no pants. I don't even want to know. Here lies Dave C, 1828 to 1884. Went down in the theater. These remains look pretty restless. Let's put them down for good. Ooh. Woohoo! Loose T. 
teeth, skeleton bone. Alice studies the remains of your undead foes. Here lies Dave J. 1826 through 1884. Rapa Pow Pow. Dig this fucker up! You dig up the grave and pry open the coffin. Instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Strange. You reach inside the ba garbage bag and are surprised to find that it's full of pudding? It's not just. No, it's not just pudding. It's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? You finally manage to reach all the way to the bottom of the bag and retrieve a sodden lump from the bottom. You unglob the wad and drive it, wad and drive it off. Then wash your arm in a nearby ditch. This had better be worth it. Yeah, I hope so, but. 84. 84. 84. This tree has dozens of messages carved into the bark. Each reading, Dave was here. Losers. Alice picks up a bone and examines it carefully. Here lies Dave L. 1790 through 1851. Died of a heart attack. See you in 36 years. Looks like the, looks like the grave digger left his lunchbox. Oh boy, free lunch! Spiked coffee, nice. Here lies Dave G. 1847 through 1884. He was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky guy can't save a feller from, a four, from like 40 angry bears. 36 years. Here lies David, Dave D. Died in 84! The truth was out, out there. It killed him. Here lies J Dave G. Died in 84 once again! Murdered by a different feller named Dave G. It's a pile of bones that isn't moving around for a change. Let's dig through it. It's mostly just this boring bo broken bones, but you do find a skull with a weird tag on it. This skull has a little paper egg tied to it, which has inter-cemetery inter loan on one side, and some notes on the other. Beat the dickens out of them! I love it. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. I might be in a bit trouble. Things they have in mausoleums, you know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons. Let's leave them be. Some kind of ritual circle drawn to the ground with red chalk. This is a pile of mostly burned rags that may, that maybe used to be a person. You dig through the rags and find a few things that look like they're worth keeping. Or splattered scroll. Human ashes. Robe receipt. Seems pretty ominous. 
Big stone sarcophagus. I ain't all interested in finding those. Let's see if Alex has anything to say. Nope. But I'm all out of time. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, okay, never mind, real quick. You hear a rustling sound and trace it to a small gulch nearby. Peering, peeking over the edge, you see a goblin rustling around in the brush. Presumably, it's a gulch goblin rustler. Always kind of assumed that referred to a different sort of rustling, though. He looks up at, at you and makes some angry sounding goblin noises. We're gonna have to fight him. <laughs> Sadly, we don't have Gary, so he can't help us be. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a melee attack on this dude. Oh crap! I better find something to make. Ooh, we got a goblin sandwich. Sweet. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and talk and share with the people you think might be interested. See you in the next video. Bye!